Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here and today we are going to build a FM transmitter. So let's get started. So the tools we need is our soldering iron, a multimeter to test the component values, a soldering metal, a mesh to clean up our soldering iron and a cutter. So without a further ado, let's get started. Now if you want to buy this kit, links are in the description below. So the first step we need to identify the resistances of these three resistors. So let's get our multimeter. So let's put our multimeter into the resistance mode which is ohm symbol right here. And let's measure the resistance. So it's 2.2 uh, kilo ohms. So this resistor goes in 2k2 written place. Now let's measure another. So what it is. Okay so it's a 220 ohms. As you can see 0.2k so we need to put that into this 220 written place and of course the last one will be 22k uh, but let's just confirm this so yeah it's a 22k and now let's place this register in its place just to make sure that this component will not fall I'm going to bend the lead slightly so here we go Okay guys, so the next step will be to install our small capacitors. So uh, we don't need any multimeter to do that because the values are actually written onto the capacitors. We just need to take a closer look. So this is a 104 inserted here. Again this is 104, put it here. This last one goes right here. Now let's insert this inductor right here. Now the inductor goes into this L40 position. We need to bend pins in order to fit the transistor properly. So let's insert this uh, switch right here and our microphone. Now this is uh, important because uh, microphones have a polarities. Uh, the stripes as you can see here is the negative polarity. So there we go guys our kit is fully assembled. Now let's solder these components. Okay guys, so let's do soldering. Now I'm going to use this 5 volt soldering iron right here. Okay, so that is cleaned up quite neatly there. Let's uh, solder this microphone right here. And of course you can use your third helping hand. This will make your job quite easy. Let's quickly solder this all components. So there you go guys our board is soldered completely now let's cut these terminals okay guys so our kit is complete now it's time to test this one to power it up we need a CR2032 battery so let me find one out of stock Sorry guys, we don't have any batteries. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so here it is. Let's insert this right here. Whoa. There we go guys. So to test this transmitter, I'm going to use my smartphone FM. So it's on now. Let's do a search. Whoa. Hello. Hello. It's not that one. No. This is not. Oh guys okay okay guys so I think I got it now there is a one soldering point left which is for our antenna so I think we need to use a uh, antenna and for that I'm going to use a piece of wire okay guys so watch this this is really interesting so I managed to tune this transmitter perfectly to the frequency and uh, now I'm getting one 106.4 and I have to keep my phone in a specific position in order to work. I have to point out one interesting thing of this transmitter. It's really sensitive to the out outdoor interference. As you can see, if I get my hands close, it changes the transmission frequency. So onto the transmitter circuit, it has this small inductor. Now this inductor has air code, so that's why the air is affecting its inductance. 
but if you insert there a variable inductor like you find in a proper fm transmitter or so you can make this transmitter a lot better but before i do that let me show you a crude way to make your own variable inductor so you need a small screw driver for that and just need to insert this screw driver tip into the inductor like this uh, let me turn on the fm hello 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 <laughs> so there you go guys it's it's really tricky so you have to just get right enough okay guys so i found a old circuit board which has variable inductors in it as you can see right here so let's install one into our fm transmitter so now this fm transmitter works much better this time it's really easy to do that as you can see I'm getting a clear voice now. Now I'm going to test the transmitter range. To do that, I'm going to play a music right in front of the transmitter and as well as I'm going to record the audio into my smartphone through the FM recording feature. So, uh, let's do this guys. It's recording. Now the sound is pretty clear. Now it has some distortions. Uh, it, it has a pretty lot of distortion at this distance. Now it's completely gone. At about one meters distance, it's pretty clear. So yeah, it doesn't have tremendous amount of range, but yeah, it does what it says. Now the fact that you can do this in such a small amount of components is really interesting. If you need a transmitter that has more range, then you can use this small FM transmitter module. Links are in the description below. I use this small transmitter in my SPY FM transmitter bug. It works really well and if the size doesn't matter, you can use this FM transmitters. Anyways guys, hope you like this quick little FM transmitter build. Please hit that like button below, share this video with your friends and there's always thanks for watching. Goodbye.